Hi. This week I wanted to share with you some of the findings of a very informative report called the Global Leadership Forecast 2021. And the research has been done by um, a company called Development Dimensions International, DDI. And there's some really, as I say, informative reading. I wouldn't say it's all good reading because some of the findings are pretty, uh, pretty damning. And one part of the report is called the big burnout. So that's employee burnout in your workplace. And as I said um, in the report, how well organisations deal with burnout is down to leadership. And one of the, some of the figures they found was that 86% of your high potentials are at risk of burnout. That's your talent, the talent you want to keep, the similar talent you want to attract to your organisation, but 86% of them are at risk of burnout. And only 18% of leaders felt confident to help employees avoid burnout. Only 18% felt equipped to help employees avoid burnout. That is a scary situation. So what DDI did was come up with a whole set of priorities that leaders need to focus on to mitigate burnout in the workplace. And I thought this week I'd share the top five. So the first one um, is empathy. To avoid burnout, leaders need to lead with empathy and they need to lead with care and compassion. And we all go, yeah, of course they do. One of the issues is, is we don't understand the difference or many people don't understand the difference between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is when you say, I care about how you are suffering. That's sympathy. I care about the fact that you're suffering. Empathy is saying, I feel for your suffering. We often talk about empathy being, be able to put yourself in someone else's shoes. I prefer to say that empathy is when you really understand how someone else feels in their shoes. And if we can't reach out to people with empathy, then we will have burnout, we'll have stress, anxiety, fatigue and burnout in the workplace. It's about understanding that everyone's different and it's about listening, really listening to what your employees are saying to you. So that you, you can't empathise if you don't listen. It's absolutely important. And when you are empathetic, you can make informed decisions on how to deal with situations. So empathy is vital to building relationships and connecting with people and establishing a sense of trust. And without that, burnout will burn your organisation down. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.